Hello YouTube. So as one of the older uh, collectors of Lego, chances are I am not going to be building sets that are going to get played with a lot or going to get swooshed around the room. So I think that was one reason in particular why I was drawn to the line of Star Wars diorama sets that Lego has been putting out. This one in particular is 75339, the Lego Death Star trash compactor scene that everybody remembers from episode 4 which I loved. I thought it has a little bit of interaction, but it looks great on a shelf that you can tuck away and admire it for years to come. That being said, I was very frustrated when as I assemble it, I go and discover that half of the scene is actually displayed on the back end of the diorama set. So unless you're going to put it on a display shelf on a Lazy Susan like this one here, you're probably never going to see half of that really great scene that everybody remembers from the movie, as well as you're not going to see two of the figures that come with the set. Now, these are not the originals. This one is actually a second, you know, a secondary market, R2-D2 and C-3PO. Uh, you'll actually see the ones that come with the set in a second. But again, I just put those on there to emphasize half of the scene is actually shown on the rear of this diorama. So if you display it like I would, uh, on a shelf or on a, on a piece of furniture, you'll never see that again. So fortunately, as always, Rebrickable kind of comes to my uh, rescue and comes up with this great little piece right here that is a Rebrickable mock by a user called Diligence. And I will post a link to the instruction set for this uh, in the comments below. And as you can see here, here uh, you have the actual C-3PO and R2-D2 that come with this set, which have some great detailing on the arms and a front and back print on R2. And it really kind of brings the whole uh, you know, scene to come together by having these in two separate pieces like this. Uh, and I have to say, he did a tremendous job. These are free instructions. It takes about 183 pieces all together. And it's a very quick and easy build. Uh, I, I just love the fact that it really brings home, you know, the things that are going on in those scenes as they're flashing back and forth and they're in danger of being crushed. And here you've got, you know, R2-D2 and C-3PO frantically trying to figure out how they can help them. So I, I love the effect that he put in here. And it's a very easy build, like I mentioned. And I do love that he's got these white uh, bricks in here to accent and give you that traditional imperial, you know, lighting effect. Uh, and the fact that he uses a number of dials and panels. Now, these are called out specifically in the set. But in this case, like mine, I did not use the ones that he recommended. Rather than buying them from BrickLink, I just kind of dug into my little inventory of spare parts and found a couple to put on there. But again, that also gives you the ability to customize this whole display area based on what you like. So it's a great way that you can even customize the customized <laughs> rebrickable mock. So just another way to really make it your own. But as you can see here, if you display these two together on a shelf in some way, I think this is just such a great, great idea by Diligence. It lets you really show the entire scene and spares you having to have a mysterious little Easter egg in the back that may never be seen again. So just my two cents. Just wanted to throw this out here. Again, I will post instructions on this build uh, in the comments section of this video. If you have any questions or would like some additional photos or anything like that, please feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to send those to, to folks that have questions or want to know a little bit more about the build. But again, this is a rebrickable mock. Takes about 183 pieces by a user that goes by the name of Diligence. And you can look him up on Rebrickable or you can follow the link that I'll post in the comment section. Again, I hope this brings a little bit of enjoyment to your Lego day. Have a great day and we'll talk to you later.